Easy. Well, I bring with me today an excellent reason why you should vote for either the Conservatives or the Brexit Party. And that is that the far-left biased Channel 4 could potentially have its licence for broadcasting reviewed. And this comes after what I would describe as an abhorrent, politically motivated stunt with Channel 4's recent TV debate on the environment. So what they did is that uh, the Brexit Party declined to appear on this because they said that they had no trust in Channel 4 to be impartial and not to use it as some sort of a political hatchet job on, on, on them. And the Conservative Party, well, Boris Johnson wasn't able to attend. And what they did is that they put two ice sculptures there. One said Brexit Party and the other said Conservatives. Basically, what they were telling the viewers of Channel 4 is that the Conservatives and the Brexit Party couldn't give a shit about the environment. But what they didn't tell you is that for the Conservatives, Michael Gove turned up to be the representative. Probably a very good choice being a former envi Environment Secretary. But Jeremy Corbyn didn't like it. And he said, no, I only want Boris. I don't want to speak to Michael Gove. And what Channel 4 should have said is, well, here is a representative from the Conservative Party, so shut the fuck up and let's get on with this. But no, they dance to the tune of the Labour Party. Are you watching this, folks? Are you hearing me closely? The far-left bias Channel 4 dances to the tune of the Labour Party. Make sure that you understand that very carefully. And these eye sculptures... I can tell you right now that these will have taken a lot of time and effort to make because from what I could tell is that they were made out of moulds. Now, I work in that industry, so I know all about that. And making a mould for, well, effectively, effectively what is plastic for the most of the time, which I'm used to, it, the same principle applies. Making these moulds is extremely intricate. The bit that where they pour the water into the mould and then freeze it in order to form the sculpture is a piece of piss. But making the mould itself, somebody has gone through a lot of time and a lot of effort into that just in order to make a political point. So this is not about the Conservatives not caring about the environment. This is about Channel 4 working in cahoots with the far left and probably momentum in order to make a political point. And this brings me squarely now on to part two of this video, which is still about Channel 4. And if you remember that uh, a few months ago I made a video regarding the um, storyline on Hollyoaks about far-right extremists, which they've just recently brought to a close, that particular storyline. And I have to look at it there, and for the most part I would agree that it was probably handled reasonably well. Um, but one thing that stood out that made me seethe with anger is that they, Channel 4 and Hollyoaks, made the viewers of that programme think that if you support and subscribe to British values, then you are a racist, you are an Islamophobe. Which is, of course, an abhorrent thing to suggest. What they're saying there is that British values, and I would put, well, I could wax lyrical all day about what I believe to be British values, but let's start with the obvious. Let's start with tolerance. Let's start with freedom to express and follow the religion you choose without persecution. And of course, that works both ways, doesn't it? And the freedom to wear what you want to wear, which does, of course, include the burqa. But they would have you believe that if you are British and you stick closely to British values, you are in fact a racist. And that is, that is wrong. That's what they make you believe now by watching that. And that's the only thing that I would say on there that 
immediately stuck out as being problematic about that. So, embrace British values, because that is what we should all be embracing, whether we be Muslim, Christian, or whatever. You follow what religion you want is British values, but what is not British is the freedom to choose what law you want to follow. There is only one law, and that is British law. Not Sharia law, British law. And if you don't subscribe to follow British law, then as far as I'm concerned, you're not welcome in this country. Skin colour irrelevant. If you are not prepared to follow British law, get out. You're not welcome. Okay, thanks for watching, and now you know where to put your cross on December the 12th. Till next time. Easy.